So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and we're still here in Wiser State Forest. Another section of it though. In a previous video, I was over in the Greenland track, uh, checking out four different campsites. Of course, one was, unfortunately, one was occupied. When we did that tour, but anyway, we still get a good idea of the four that were there. But now we're, we're a bit west in the Haldeman tract, and we're gonna, there's four campsites here too we're gonna check out. There's also some like, equestrian campsites all in one area so we'll quick take a look at those too uh, but let me toss a map up and show you where we are here in Pennsylvania we're here in northern Dauphin County if you remember the purpose of these videos is to kind of just give you a better idea of what these state forest campsites look like because um, I know when I I started using them last last summer and I kind of like them but when you go to you got to reserve online these sites are you have to re get a permit, reserve them. But it's ten dollars for one night plus like a six dollar reservation fee, so not too much. But there's just like these little tiny pictures sometimes that show you the campsite looks like, but not a whole lot. So I like to come out here and do a tour, not just for myself, but for you guys too, to show you what these campsites look like. Yeah, we're currently on White Oak, White Oak Road. This is I'll show you in a moment where we are currently. Some picnic area. Yeah, this is the Roland picnic area. I should say this tract, the Haldeman tract, is a little bit more uh, developed than the Greenland tract. There's more here, like picnic sites and stuff. Now let's just look at the quick look at the map of this area. I have it attached to the Jeep here. <laughs> bit windy day. Oops, yeah, speaking of wind, I do have some magnets in the Jeep. I'm just gonna put a rock here. So we're currently right here at the Roland site. Got a bit of a drive yet to get to where the other campsites are. Here's site number one down. I think it's called Wolf Pond Road. There's number two, number three, number four is all the way down here, and then there are some equestrian sites there. So hopefully we get to all these. We're gonna drive down this way to get to one, go back up, hit two and three, check out the equestrian sites, and come on down here to number four. So hopefully none of these sites are occupied with campers. I failed to realize, like in the previous episode, like this is this is Good Friday. This is um, the weekend of Easter, so they're might actually eat people out here camping. Wiser State Forest does allow camping over the winter months, including into March. Other state forests don't, so you double check that. All right, let's get up in a Jeep. Let's go find campsite number one. All right, off we go. Like I said, there, we ran into that problem with people camping. I mean, that's fine that they're there. I mean, but it was just, I just wasn't expecting anyone to be Camping is a bit chilly today. It's still Friday morning. Like I said, when I did the other video, the Greenland tract. But it doesn't look so busy through here. All right, so this is still White Oak Road. We gotta look for a uh, Wolf Pond Road. There's a name for you, Wolf Pond. I think we have a little ways to go though. Uh, let's see what's this road right here. Oh, it's just a parking area. <laughs> Not a road. As you can see, it is. Um, there's some signs over there. You can see it is a dirt road, but it's it's fairly decent though. That's something to keep in mind, depending on what kind of vehicle you have. And I will add in too that there is a there is a remoteness to this section to this area. You're uh, you're back in the woods. There's no major roads going through here or anything like that. That make that makes it quiet too. All right, still looking for Wolf Pond Road. All right, so I think we're finally coming up on Wolf Pond. It's a long drive to get back in through here, but it's it's nice. I think this is it right here. Let's see if they're labeled. Um, yeah, Wolf Pond. Yep, 
Wolf Pond River. We'll go to our right. We'll come back this way and go to the left later. We gotta get to site number one first. We're doing them in order this time. Starting from one. <laughs> I think the in Greenland track, we, well, we did them in order too. We did them in order in that video, but we started with the last one, I think. Alright, so site number one will be on our right, I believe. A bit ways down here. Alright, well, unfortunately, site number one was occupied. That's what I was afraid of. I'm going to turn around. We're, we're going to drive by it. It, it, is on, it is right along the roadside. So you at least get a view of it. I'm going to turn around right here. But at least we'll go for a little drive through the countryside and stuff like that. All right, I'll turn around right here. I think I'll turn the camera a little bit to the to the side so you can see it. Go ahead and do that. All right, so as we come up, I will turn the camera to the side so you can see it. It is right by the road, um, so no need to hike in or anything like that. Let's see if it makes, yeah, the camera does turn here. I don't want to be too obvious about things though. Yeah, there's quite a few people camping. So it is right next to the road. You can see it right there. So it looks like a cozy spot. Got some donkeys. All right. All right, so that's what I was afraid of. Uh, but site one was occupied, but they were, they were having a great time there, it looked like. But you can still see where site one is in relation to the road. There's plenty of parking there, and it's, it's, it's indeed a roadside site. It wasn't like one of those sites you have to walk into. But anyway, it's regardless, it's still a beautiful drive here through the woods. So we're going to head back up to White Oak Road, I believe it is, and we're going to try to see what sites two, three, and four look like. Some of these equestrian sites. Hopefully they're not all occupied, but... We'll see what happens. Um, if they are, I'll probably still upload this. We're trying to tour these sites, but you know, yeah, I, I'll, yeah, we'll do what we can. All right, that's, that's all you can do sometimes, folks. But let's keep going. It's a beautiful day to be out, anyway. Yeah, so like I said, we're gonna head back up to White Oak Road, and two and three are just a little ways down, then, not too far from each other. Yeah, here we go. So we're going to head up this way. White Oak again. And... 2 and 3. We should both be on our left. Get to the top of this hill, though. Site number two. Oh, right here it is. Is this it? Oh, that's a trail. All right. Oh, maybe this is it right here. Yeah. Oh, good. This is it. Site number two. Unoccupied. So once again, here's our map. Chris initially came down a wolf pond and number one was occupied and we drove back up, came down to White Oak. Here's number two. That's where we are right now. My shadow's in the way there a little bit. Move over here, so number two. And I said, then we'll hit number three and four is way down here. And then I guess, well, the, the equestrian sites too. Anyway, let's take a look at number two. So some parking, maybe for like two vehicles right here. 
And there's a trail. Okay, it's just a short walk up to two. Kind of liking two. Reminds me of number two in the other, uh, in the Greenland track that I did earlier today. Just a short walk, but you're a little bit more isolated back here from number one, even though we didn't get a close look, number one is a lot closer to the road. Here's number two. Yeah. I like it better than number one already, <laughs> even though we didn't get a good look at one, like I said. But you have plenty of room. You get your picnic table. You got your fire ring. Looks like a nice place back there to set up your tent. Looks like quite a few people have done that right down there. Yeah. I think you've got plenty of shade in here in the summer. Maybe some sun, but... but remember, as always, let me know which site you like the best in this video. I think it's kind of easy so far. Number two. I like number two. It's just a short walk to this site. And you're not right next to the road. I, li I like the sites that are close to the road. But, uh... A site like this is kind of like that compromise where you're you're decently close enough but not right next to the road so when people drive by they can't like quite see you because when, when I did when we drove past number one I could turn my camera and you can kind of see the campsite which maybe a little bit invasive of their privacy but still you can't really do that at this site it's kind of private up here and plus when it greens up this spring and summer you'll be able to see even less down this way I mean there's already some more evergreen bushes right there does look like there's some kind of trail or path down that way, but like I said, when, when everything leaves out this summer, they won't be able to really see up here. Looks like there used to be something here. There's some old concrete, but who knows. All right, kind of a cool little spot. I like number two. Like some rocky areas out there to explore and stuff. Yeah, site number two in Wider State Forest, the Halderman Tract. Let's move on to site number three. Let's see what that one's like. That, sh that one's just down the road, short drive. And once again, not a long walk at all. Um, right here's the parking area. You can see the Jeep right there, and then your campsite is right, right up there. It's not too far. To, not too far. Not like some of the places you've been in these videos. Where it's like you walk like a quarter mile or something. All right, let's head out of here. Like I said, number three should just just be down the road then. Also on the left, I think. If you like remoteness, like it back here. Where where is site number three? It's right up here. Yeah, pretty easy to find. They have a very distinctive. Is this it? Yeah. Site number three, H3. 
And here we go, site number three, similar parking to site number two. Room for about two vehicles. Or you could show another one in there too, I guess. Yeah, H3. Of course, H means Hallerman, site number three. And just a short little walk to this one too. This one's a little bit more rocky. Yeah, just about the same distance as number two. But I feel like I might like this one just a little better, actually. I feel like this one has more shade. It's hard to tell right now because it's still a uh, March, but yeah. I don't know. It feels like there's. I don't know. I feel like you have more shade at this spot. But bigger picnic table too. The other one was just a little bit smaller. You got your fire ring. Uh, places over here. To put your tent. Looks like someone has used a nice little spot down there for their tent. Leaves are cleared away. Oh, maybe it's because of the pine trees. You know, I always like my pine trees. Maybe that's it. I'm always attracted to that. Yeah, I think I like this site just a little better than two. Because once again, you can, you can all see the Jeep up there. It's just a short little walk. Yeah, I'll take this over too, I think. Site number three. There you go. So nothing against site number two. It's still a cute little site. I'm sure number one is too. But uh, overall, so far, like two and three, better than one. And three, probably because of the pine trees. But I, I like three better. All right, but we've still got number four to check out, which is a ways down White Oak. And then on the way back, we'll check out those equestrian sites. Yeah, I like this spot. Yeah, but even though these are not really big pine trees, you can still hear that. It's windy today. I love, I love that sound of hearing the wind through the pines. And you have that here. But yeah, I like, I like this site. Alright, looks cozy. Alright, but we gotta get going. Like I said, we're gonna go down to... It's a bit of a drive down to site number four. And I'll show you the map quick again. Yeah, just not too bad of a walk. Make a couple trips. And once again, here was that map. So we just, because it was number one again, it was occupied. We just did two. Here's three. We'll drive past the equestrian site for now. Then we got to drive all the way down here to number four. We'll see what that one's like. And then on the way back, we'll stop at the equestrian sites. All right, so let's back out of here. Like I said, we got a drive to get down to number four. Hopefully that one's unoccupied too. But we shall see. Yeah, years ago I did some hiking in this state forest or this section, but not not recently. If we go camping at site number three in the summer, I'll definitely do some hiking in here again. I think we're coming up on the, you know, the picnic area. Um, the Minix Hit picnic area. Or, oh no, whoops. <laughs> This is the equestrian camping area, my bad. So we'll check that out on the way back. The Mud Run Equestrian, equestrian Camping Area. All right. There's a picnic area up here though. Yeah, it's coming out of that area. The equestrian, the equestrian areas, you know, that's where the people coming out here horseback riding, they have 
a much bigger uh, like parking area for folks because they have their horse trailers and stuff. Is it? Oh yeah, this is the picnic area. I think Minix hit. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Minix hit picnic area. So number four should be on our left. Yeah, that equestrian area is kind of mislabeled on the map. It's much closer to the picnic area than what the map shows. Still probably got a little ways to go to number four. We gotta pass what's called uh, Luke's Trail first. This is the Rim Trail. Oh, this is Luke's Trail, I believe, right over here. I think so. Because that's the Rim Trail. I, I did Luke's Trail years ago. We shall see. If that was Luke's trail, then number four is pretty close here. Should have just left the camera on, I think. Because right after I turn it off, I think this is number... Is this four? Yeah, H4. Oh, this one looks interesting. Yes, here we go, H4. We're permit required. Once again, plenty of parking. And let's go. This one looks like it has a... a view. About the same walk as two and three were. Not quite as rocky though, it has a nice, almost sandy path. Wow. Okay, this one's interest. Whoops, a trip. I'm not sure what a summertime view would look like after everything leafs in, but. Hmm. Yeah, but you got your picnic table, fire ring. Looks like people are using that area for their tent. Well, it doesn't look very flat for a tent. Sights? Not really. Um, yeah, I don't know. Looks like some people put a tent up over there too. He said winter view, but like I said, in the summer, I don't really know that you would be able to see this. You know, like I said, all the trees are going to bud, op bud open and leaf out. But here in the winter, you have a decent view. This is a smaller footprint here, I guess you could say. This area is fairly level, but for a tent, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of level, but that's pretty rocky for a tent. Um, yeah, I'm just, I kind of like the area, but I feel like, I don't know. Like I said, people have been using this area, but this is not flat. There's a, there's a slope here. I feel like you'd be better putting a tent. Looks like people, maybe up here people are tenting. I might put a, I'd probably put a tent. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like people are putting their tents up here. This is flat, well, fairly flat, not rocky, just up from your campsite down there. This would be better up here, or even... 
I'm seeing a spot in there. It looks like people are putting a tent. A little open bear spot. Yeah, this would be a nice tent spot. What's down there? I see something. But it looks like, is that a bridge down there? Hold on a second, let's zoom in. What is that down there? Something's, looks like a bridge of some sort. There might be a trail down there. But yeah, just up from your picnic area down there. If I was going to use this site, I'd, I'd put my tent up here, I think. I like this site, but I think uh, three is still going to be my top. I mean, it's, it's cozy here. Like I said, in the winter, you do have that view, but I just don't know. I think in the summertime, like I said, you'll just get little peaks of it looking throughout there. But it's still a nice spot, though. It's difficult. I mean, number four is growing on me. But... I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I'm just thinking, do I like this one better than three? I feel like even, even in the summer, you would feel like you're up above and looking out over everything. Yeah, I don't know. There, there's pine trees here too, if you look up. Yeah, you know how I like the pine trees, but I don't know. Yeah, I think there is a trail. Oops, I think there's a trail down here. You can see it going down there, but you're up above it. So, you'd probably hear them. I doubt they'd hear you. Yeah, the, the one downside though is that there's really not, if you wanted a tent right near where your campfire, your picnic table was, like I said, the optimal tent sites were up in there. You just have to, you know, it's not a big deal, but something, something to think about though. And once again, you're not far, you can, you can see the Jeep up there, it's not far to walk down. Yeah, still can't decide between three and four. I mean, two was nice too. Two was nice too. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's some, uh, three, I like three, but there's something just really appealing about four. It's kind of growing on me. Anyway, well, we're gonna hop back in the Jeep. We're gonna drive up to those equestrian sites. I'm not gonna be camping at the equestrian sites, but since it, it is camping here in the State Forest, I thought I'd just sh show them in case some viewers are into that kind of stuff. But we'll check them out anyway. All right, let's, uh, Leave this location and get back up. Kind of like it here, though. <laughs> I can see myself camping at this spot. All right, goodbye campsite number four. Oh, uh, yeah. I... Anyway. All right, let's <laughs> tear myself away. All right, time to head back up White Oak. Yeah, still can't decide between the two three or four. Four just keeps growing on me though, to be honest. All right, so head back up the way we came. Like I said, we'll quick check out those equestrian sites. There's a couple different sites there, three or four, all within the same area. So we're not, we don't necessarily look at all of them. They'll be similar to each other. But once again, it's for people that are gonna do like horseback riding. They're gonna bring their horse trailer and they need more room for parking and stuff like that. We'll be coming up to that picnic area again, and the horse camping is just beyond that. Yeah, here's the picnic area. Just past here is the equestrian. 
Like I said, it's kind of mislabeled on the map, at least the one I printed off. It's just north of the picnic area, yeah, because right here's the, the way out one way. So we gotta go just a little bit more. And go in here. Yes, there's HE1, so it's Halderman Equestrian 1. So you can see what they look like here. We'll get out a quick look. Yes, this is what they look like. You got a picnic table and a fire ring there. You, know, you got places for your tents and stuff. I think this whole area here is for them. So you could pull your horse trailer in here. The main, uh, the main road goes right up. Well, main road that you pull in, it goes up that way. So, but this whole spot here is for you to pull in with your horse trailer. So yeah. So if you're not using this spot, you would continue on up that way. So yeah. So you have this whole spot in this place. I guess you could tie your horses off here. I think there's three or four of these sites. Well, let's keep driving up. Yeah, so that was HE1. Right, there's one off to our quick pull over here. You see, there's one off to our straight head. That's HE2. I guess you could, once again, you could, uh, like you pull right in here. Oh, huh. I guess there's, yeah, I guess you'd have to back your trailer into this one. But yeah. Once again, you still have your little picnic table and fire ring. So this one's not like a drive through one. If that's helpful to some people. I think there's at least two more or one more up this way yeah there's one up here off to our right yeah he 3 I guess but that one doesn't have hmm Yeah, and I'll see a label on this one, like HE3. It's a campsite nonetheless, though. There's no, really no place for your horse trailer, though. So I'm not sure. Maybe this one... I don't see a designation for this one anywhere. Like, you usually have a wooden post telling you what it is. But anyway. All right. You're not entirely sure about that one. But it's in the equestrian area, so... I see one down below. Yeah, oh, this this one over here is called HE3. That one straight ahead there. This is another pull. You could pull your trailer all the way through this one. Get back on the main road. Let's go ahead and do that quick. <laughs> this is HE3, so I'm not sure what that... Maybe that other one was just a general picnic area. So you can just... You don't have to back your trailer into this one. I'm going to quick go up this way, the wrong way. Check out number four was up here too. Here's HE4. And this is a back end one, but you can see there's plenty of room to back your trailer up into here. So two of them are back ends for your horse trailer and two are pull throughs. If you're trailer people, you'll understand that. And then there's that other one, which I guess is just... I don't know, just a gathering place, maybe? I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Because I think back down here is the road again. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking that odd one we saw was just maybe a general communion area for people that are... Usually when these 
people camp, there's multiple uh, groups camping together, so maybe that area is just, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it did have a designation to it, like a, num a number site. But anyway, those are the equestrian sites. But yeah, so it's cool. We only just had one site that was occupied here in the Halderman Track. When site number one, I was kind of discouraged or else. I was like, oh no, they're all going to be occupied, but they weren't. But we still got to see site number one. But yeah, so for me, I mean, all two, three, and four were both really nice sites, but for three was in the pines, but four, I don't know, it's a really, it's a toss up between three and four for me right now. But anyway, I'm kind of leaning towards four for some reason. But anyway, you can let me know in the comments which was your favorite, including the equestrian sites if you're into that kind of stuff. But that'll be it for us. I got a bit of a drive home, but once again, hopefully, hopefully this is helpful for you. It's helpful for me to come here and see what these sites are before I reserve them. I know you can't always do that for every site, but anyway. Hopefully it was helpful for you. But uh, thanks for coming along, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one, wherever that may be.